Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. If you work just for 10 minutes from my place in downtown Toronto, you're going to come across at least three Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons is Canada's beloved fast food chain restaurant, which is famous for its coffee. And uh, nationwide, uh, Tim Hortons has about 5,000 locations. If you compare that with uh, Starbucks or McDonald's, they have about 1,500 locations. In today's video, I'll show you how you can make Tim Hortons coffee at home. I'll show you a step-by-step -step process. Let's begin. The first ingredient you're going to require is Tim Hortons coffee. Uh, I use dark roast ground coffee, but Tim Hortons has regular version of coffee. If you're in North America, you're going to find a Tim Hortons coffee on Amazon. But if you're in other countries, you may or may not find it, but you can you know, uh, check uh, whether it is available. And then uh, in that case, if you don't find it, you can just replace it with other uh, ground coffee. But you know, it's going, not going to be a cup of Tim Hortons coffee. And the second ingredient is going to be sugar. Uh, if you don't use sugar, then you can just skip that. And then you're going to need a creamer. Uh, Tim Hortons is, uh, use uh, you know liquid creamer. Uh, they have also you know the option to have uh, milk as well. But uh, at home, uh, the creamer is going to bring up the best taste and the color uh, of the coffee. And then you need a coffee maker. Now there are other types of coffee makers. Uh, for example, you can using a you know coffee press or there are some other manual coffee maker uh, but uh, i don't know actually how to use them or i never use them so my choice is going to be a simple coffee maker uh, it doesn't have to be anything expensive you can just buy a very simple one on amazon for you know 15 dollars 20 dollars it's not really expensive so basically these are the ingredients i need and then you're going to have a start with the cold water so i'm going to start with uh, this cup uh, this is about i would say seven eight ounce uh, you can just like you know uh, put in cold water so let's start with the uh, uh, cold water so I let the water run for a few seconds to make it cold and then I'm going to just you know put the water in the coffee maker and then I'm going to you know uh, take coffee uh, and put it in the filter so what I noticed that, you know, uh, to get the best taste, just like Tim Hortons, you need to have about 1.75 uh, tablespoon of uh, coffee. So it's kind of like, you know, one full tablespoon and then 75% of full. And that comes very close to the team, uh, coffee you'd get at Tim Hortons if you are having dark roast. So I'm going to show you what I mean. So by one full, I mean, it's going to be something like this uh, you can see that you know this is almost uh, full and uh, right here so i'm going to just put it in here and the second spoon is not going to be 100 percent full but i would say about 75 percent full so you can see that you know it's not 100 percent full uh, if you make if you put in more coffee here it's going to get darker if you put in less coffee here it's going to get lighter this is my own measurement to get coffee just like the one you buy at tim hortons uh, if you are buying dark roast so i'm going to just put it in here so i'll leave this here and let's close this uh, lid so now i have everything ready and then i'm going to start brewing the coffee so it's going to take a couple of minutes or so to get the coffee ready usually i take about two uh, cubes of sugar which would be about uh, eight gram or two spoon but you're gonna you can like you know uh, lessen uh, the sugar and sometimes i don't use even sugar i use honey but uh, you know uh, i'm just showing it with sugar because it's much easier and not everyone likes to use honey creamer would bring up the most taste and color you can use like you know liquid uh, creamer or 10 percent uh, creamer uh, that would work too but uh, definitely like you know if you use uh, a, a powder creamer or 10% uh, cream uh, from uh, the grocery stores then that would work too but if you're using milk it's going to give you slightly different test uh, it's not going to be like you know uh, it's not going to bring up the full flavor and test that's what my observation so stick to either a regular creamer and or a 10% cream milk uh, from uh, supermarkets I kind of like the sound of uh, coffee brewing, uh, you know, that's something uh, I'm waiting for. 
and then when it starts making like you know kind of uh, and when the noise gets louder it means that you know, it's almost finished and then you can actually get the aroma or smell of the coffee when it's brewing so that's it like you know a few uh, minutes to wait but uh, I just like you know love waiting for coffee when it's brewing so this looks like done we have our coffee ready here I'm going to just put it in here uh, to show you closer so here we have the cup of coffee so let's take a uh, creamer and I would start with uh, one tablespoon first and then see you know how it goes you can uh, see by looking at the color so let's put in first and I'm going to just you know stir it a little bit so if you look at the color still it looks a little bit dark uh, as you can see it looks dark so I'm just going to you know put in slightly more creamer and this time uh, you know I'm going to just try like you know uh, half a teaspoon I'm not even trying to the tablespoon anymore so this is a tablespoon and I'm going to just try half a teaspoon to see how it brings up the flavor so let's try this now I can see that you know the color is coming really good so I'm going to just you know put in a couple of sugar so let's just wait and stir it for a bit and looks like the sugar all melted so here we have our Tim Hortons cup of coffee Although it looks a little bit dark because of lack of light inside the cup, but it's not really dark looking. It has a very nice golden crispy look. And let me just try it. This is a perfect Tim Hortons dark roast coffee. Uh, I, I really cannot tell any difference right now that this is, I made it at home. It just tastes, you know, it just uh, tastes like one of the cup one of the cup of coffees you bought at Tim Hortons. So we have uh, come very close to the original uh, Tim Hortons coffee you'd buy at the store. So this is your you know, procedure to uh, make Tim Hortons coffee at home. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, uh, most likely I'm going to do some other like you know, home cooking or home making stuff type of video in the future. So thank you for watching, I'll see you shortly.